Gulf news. You've got first-hand experience of this story, don't you, Alpesh? Because we're talking about India uh, reforming some of its labour laws. Yes, I've previously been the director of uh, an Indian manufacturing company. And uh, the, the, Narendra Modi, the, the, the relatively new Prime Minister of India, has been very keen to see India as a manufacturing hub, take some of those international manufacturing jobs which are in China over to India as Chinese labour prices rise. But of course one of the key problems he's faced is what, what's been called the terror of labour inspectors who will just turn up and start inspecting, of course, and from the times when I was was involved with this, uh, it, they weren't inspecting for the good of the, uh, the labour force. Very often, I'm sad to say, it was about corruption. Mm. Uh, and he's trying to remove the bureaucracy, trying to make it easier to sack people, quite frankly, if you no longer need them, and therefore attract investment. But what he's actually, what he's trying to do is trying to make it more transparent. It's not about removing those inspections. It's about actually posting the inspections online very quickly so that people involved can actually see the results. The inspections are one very small part of an overall reform to ensure that India can be a manufacturing hub. Now, mm. when with organisations like the UK India Business Council are part of, we take over British companies to encourage them to export and set up facilities in India so they can become even more profitable British companies. This, not just the labour inspectors, but actually the ease of actually removing people has been a major, major issue. Uh, so it's a problem not just for India, it's actually a problem for global manufacturing. It's a problem actually for British companies indirectly because if uh, and American companies and, and, and companies around the world who might want to become more profitable by having these potentially very lucrative manufacturing hubs, low cost, high skilled potentially manufacturing hubs, but they can't because of these uh, arcane uh, labour laws from the 1960s, 70s when India was very clearly socialist. And did they affect you when you were running factories? Very much in so. It meant that you, you were very cautious to hire and when you did hire and try to remove people, you would literally have a spanner in the works and I mean somebody would throw a spanner in the works, uh, so the laws actually won't matter that much if you can't get a cultural shift and you can't reduce the power of unions and you can't get an understanding from people that actually they may well be let go, it won't be a job for life. So it's a far bigger problem than the Prime Minister has, has alluded to at the moment for India to become a manufacturing hub, but hopefully they will get there for, for the sakes of British companies and, and other companies around the world. Many people, just to briefly finish on this point then we'll move on, many people would argue of course that unions do protect the labour force. It's a balance, of course it is, I suspect it might have been swung too far in one direction in India. Okay.